In this video, I'm going to show you the best adjustments and the best defense for you to be able to consistently defend the trips tight end. Now, I am going to be the first person to say in this video that trips tight end is the best offense in the game. In my personal opinion, it is the hardest offense to consistently guard. I think it's much better than bunch. I think it's better than bunch tight end. I think it's better than spread. I, I love the trips tight end. I've got a whole ebook on trips tight end. And so I wanted to start off by saying that because this offense is really good, which means the defense is going to have to be just as good. And in a year where defense is not easy, uh, I feel like I've got something today that you're going to really enjoy. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, be sure to subscribe. If you want to learn, we're talking today about the 46 defense, a 335 wide. If you want to learn the entire 46 defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the guide by clicking that link. And uh, let's just jump right in. So what you're going to want to do is, as you can see, I've got the 4-6 playbook on defense. And what I've done is I have subbed in a linebacker at this left of screen defensive end. The reason why is because he's going to be playing coverage. If you could get a linebacker over on this side, it would be very helpful, uh, but you don't have to. So I'm going to put linebacker on both sides. I've got Aaron Donald in the middle. The next thing you want to make sure is that you have safeties at the middle linebacker position. Linebackers historically do not jump routes as well as safeties do. And so if we want our man coverage, our cross manning principles, some of those things to work well, we really should be putting these guys in the in, in that linebacker position. The next thing you want to do is you want to go over to 335 wide. You want to put the cover four show two in your audibles. I will argue all day long that a, a cover three is not worth running this year. It is way too easily manipulated. You can bomb it way too easily. Cover four, on the other hand, is much, much more difficult. Now, in particular, this specific cover four out of the nickel 335 wide is a match defense. It is a defense that is designed to defend uh, as a pattern match zone. It, it actually plays very similarly to cover four quarters out of the nickel normal. And so it's got matching principles. It's not just a drop zone. So we're going to use match to defend trips tight end. Now, what I like to do, anytime I defend a three wide receiver to one side of the field set, I love the cover four show too. And what we're going to do, you notice here that the middle linebacker moves. What we want to simply do is we want to go ahead and press our coverage, um, which is going to bring our – the beauty of the 335 wide, I would argue, is that the safeties are in the seams. They do a really good job of protecting the seams. There's not another defense in this game that gives you that same look other than like 3-4 odd. So then what we can do is we have a lot of you know options here. But we're going to essentially try to overload and get more people to cover on the trip side as opposed to the running back side. So we're going to shift our D-line to the left. We're going to crash our D-line out. I'm actually going to user this guy, and I like to go ahead and put him on a blitz. And we're going to stand about right here. This is going to allow us to shoot the run for the most part, and we're going to be able to kind of contain the run. Then the next thing from an adjustments perspective is we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end on the left. By bluff blitzing him, you see that he's going to go into a three rack hook zone. The other thing I want to quickly note about that is if they run the ball, even though we're only blitzing two people, that bluff blitz will essentially the game will tell them that he's blitzing. So it, essentially the, it, 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 it's a coverage play, but it acts like he's blitzing. Okay, So you're not going to get weak box. You're not going to get pancaked. You're still going to be able to shoot the run because you've got that three rack hook there. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to cross man. So the first player that I personally would recommend that you would go ahead and cross man is you're going to take that linebacker on the left that is the uh, up linebacker. You could do either one, but you're going to man them up onto the X, uh, the tight end. So as you can see there, I've manned up the tight end. Then from there, you have kind of a decision. You could man up the outside receiver, uh, outside slot receiver, who is typically going to be on a flat route or he's going to be on a streak. You could do that. That's fine. Or you could do this, which I like to either do one of these next two things. You could man up that, that middle linebacker that shifted to the left. You could man him up on the left of screen inside slot, which is the most important player in trips tight end. He's the player that's going to be on corner routes, crossing routes, post routes, all that stuff. And that man coverage won't stop those routes, but it will make it a much tighter throw and allow your user to have a little bit more flexibility. 
or you could man that guy up onto the running back. The reason I would suggest manning him up on the running back is so that we can take advantage of this outside quarter zone on the right to be able to defend a lot of different things. You could also feel free to put him in any zone you want. If you want him to go into a mid-read zone, you could do that. That is fine. That will actually help with a lot of the bombs uh, in this formation. So you could put him in a mid-read zone or you could cross man him. It's up to you. I personally recommend that you put him into a uh, man coverage assignment or a mid-read zone, okay? So we're just going to show it in this video with him as a mid-read defender. And again, if you want to cross man him, you certainly can. But I'm going to go over the best play, I would argue, from Trips tight end, which is the PA counter go. And what you're going to see in terms of how this is going to play is your user is really looking for these crossing routes. So as you can see here, um, here we go, crosser. And as you see, that outside quarter defends that really, really well. It, it literally bags it completely. The play is completely shut down. We've completely bagged the best passing concept in the entire formation. This play right here is the is literally the best. So if you look at the seam streak right here, you've got a cross man and you've got the quarter going. Once that guy gets there, they're going to notice that this quarter flat defender is now going to option off because there's no other route and he's going to come over here and play this guy. Okay, the other thing that you've got going for you is your quarter flat will take this to the flat. And then this guy is basically, you will get a lot of interceptions on this. This throw is quasi open, but you see he's got two people there. And then of course your mid read defender, um, he, he can come over and help with that as well. Now, another thing that I like to do, like I said, again, this is, again, you know, kind of tendency uh, adjustment with that second guy. You always want to meet in cross man on the tight end. It's going to help significantly with a tight end post. But I will also occasionally do something like this where I manually back off that guy and I'm going to man up on square. That's going to help me with the bombs that people are going to run, but it's also going to allow that quarter defender that I just showed you on the right to still be able to do damage. So you're going to see here, here's your crosser. As you can see, that time the crosser uh, got played by that three wreck. As you can see, it, it really does a good job. Now, I don't want to I don't want to limit your responsibility as a user. Okay, if you see the crosser, that is probably your number one priority. So if you're in the middle of the field and you see that that shot that that deep crosser is coming, I would go ahead and play it until I'm obvious that they're going to guard it. That's also why I like to do this right here because the next thing that they're going to do when they start to see that you're running match coverage is they're going to go to a setup like this out of PA slot corner. This is where manning up the circle receiver really comes in handy because corner routes this year are notoriously bad against man coverage. You see right there, it's not going to get separation against man coverage. You're going to get a lot of interceptions because they're going to force feed that throw. And so as you saw, we're able to guard that route as well. Now the next route that we like to show is this right here out of PA counter go. This is uh, one of the best setups in the entire game uh, for a lot of what people like to do defensively. So we're going to show how this works against um, against this setup. So again, the exact adjustments that I just showed you, as you can see here, we've got cross man all over the field. We've also got this quarter flat defender. Now what you're going to do as a user is you're if you see this route combo, you're going to carry, and then you're going to bite back down on the slant. And what you'll see is this man coverage will 99% of the time, especially in an ultimate team where you have better safeties that have 90-plus man coverage in that position, they're going to be able to consistently defend that route. And so you're going to have a lot of success against that tight end post. The last route combo that I want to show you today is probably and arguably the best route combination uh, in the entire game as it pertains to trips tight end. And the reason why it's so good is because the uh, deep post almost always will beat any coverage that you put on the field. Well, your user is very much so free to be able to fend that. That quarter flat will take care of the running back. If he goes on a real route or something, you also have slant protection uh, because you've got that manned up and you've got three wreck and you've got all this coverage, right? But now let's say that they try to hit you over the top. So you can see here, you do exactly the same thing. Look at the match coverage, absolutely bag it over the top with you know a below average corner. And as you can see, we're able to basically take care of pretty much everything that people wanna do against trips tied in. 
To me, this is the best defense for Trips tight end in the game right now. And if you want to learn more about this 3-3-5 wide and how you can actually craft an incredible coverage scheme from it that will actually stand up very strongly against pretty much any offense in this game, I would really encourage you to get my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get immediate access to every ebook that I've released in Madden 22, which so far is 13 ebooks, eight on defense, five on offense. It includes this four six defense that we're showing you right now you're gonna get access to all of that content with exclusive tips and pro player breakdowns and guide updates and any new guides that we release while your subscription is active you're gonna get access to all of that for just ten dollars one-time purchase or, uh, or uh, a monthly uh, purchase of ten bucks a month you can cancel whenever you would like and again i would really encourage you to consider it there's a link in the description below if you enjoyed this video and you want to take your Madden game to the next level. Be sure to sign up for my Patreon. Again, there is a link down in the description below and you can sign up today for just 10 bucks.